There's another source of uneven fuel delivery. It's combustion gas getting into the injector system. It's a different concern when combustion is leaked past the injector. What's going to happen is it can cause random misfire on one or more cylinders. As the combustion gas leaked past the injector's needle seat, then that copper combustion sealing washer we've talked about earlier, once it gets into the fuel rail in the cylinder head, it's going to distribute the pressure to other injectors on the same bank and cause random misfires. We can look at random misfires by looking at cylinder contribution. This is part one of the test. Many people misunderstand it. Right across the middle is zero variation. That means all cylinders are contributing the same amount. This is a good pattern. Here's two different patterns. Here's one where the contribution looks bad on cylinder two and the contribution looks bad on cylinder five. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. What you're seeing, the black area is repeated runnings where they've been going continuously. The red is a single misfire. When we have a problem that's bad all the time, they'll all go up. These are random misfires. This is the way you tell a random misfire from a steady misfire. Steady misfire will always be low. When the load is put on the engine, the rest of the cylinders are being affected by the gases in the fuel rail, and they're going randomly dropping up. Now, one way we can do is to use misfire data in scan data. We can also use the balloon test. We can look at it in the back to see if we can find that leaking gas. But first, let's see if we can identify it with misfire. In this case, you can see we've got at the top misfire percent data for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and they're all zeros in value. So nothing is happening on this particular vehicle. We did not identify anything. Let's do the bubble test. The bubble test is we're going to look for bubbles in the secondary fuel filter. To do that, we disable the fuel pump and the fuel injector control module relay to prevent fuel delivery. We're going to take the cap off the secondary fuel filter and look and see what's happening. We're going to look for low fuel in the housing. This is our first clue. If we have pressure coming in there, it forces fuel back through the pressure regulator and gives us low fuel because the air is in the top. So that's our first clue. Crank the engine at this time. It might produce a few bubbles in the standpipe. We've got to have it higher than the standpipe because that's where it's coming out of. This is clue number two. We have leaking from one of our heads. We don't know which head and we don't know which cylinder. So here's our bubbles. It's higher than the standpipe and we can see the bubbles bubbling up. Now this could be from a bad cylinder head, could be from bad injectors. We've got to decide which. So we can do some testing to do that. Here's what a good one looks like. We're above the standpipe and nothing's happening. So here's our balloon test. We're going to remove the outlet lines from the fuel filter housing and install a balloon over each of these lines. We still have the system shut down so there's no fuel pressure and there's no injection. We're running with no fuel. We don't want the hydraulics running with no fuel in the lines, so make sure you shut down the FICM by removing the relay. The procedure is to crank the engine and observe if either the balloons connected over the outlet pipes start to inflate. Now, don't overheat the starter by doing a prolonged cranking test. Keep it reasonable. Here's an example. The one on the left did not inflate the balloon. The one on the right did. So we now have isolated it to a head. We have identified, is it a, an injector problem? It is an injector leaking because it's leaking back into this head and destroying and overriding the, the check valve on that cylinder head. If one bank can be identified, what we need to do then is remove all the glow plugs from that cylinder head except for one. You can make it different and do two of them and leave two in, whichever way you want to do it. But remove part of the, the glow plugs to re eliminate the compression. Then we're going to repeat the cranking procedure, and we're going to move it to other cylinders till we find the one inflating the balloon. We have found out which one is causing. The cylinders it causes to inflate the balloon is the bad cylinder. This shows us compression leaks by filling the balloon, and it needs to have further inspection, things we need to go look at and diagnose further. So we've got to remove the injector to do anything from this point. But remove all the injectors and check for the hold down looseness. If it was loose, you have found the cause of the problem. Replace the O-rings, replace the copper gasket, and replace the check valve in that head.